in the ever-growing field of military vehicles for the road comes this. The newest and ugliest edition, but it has the best sounding name, the Menacer. Way better than the Night Shark uh, and the Insurgent. And it's got a bigger gun, it's got a 50 cal, as opposed to either one of them which had no guns, except for the Night Shark which had four tiny guns. It's much wider, and to top it all off, it's got exhaust coming out of the roof. Why? I don't know, but there you go. That, that, that's that. And of course, a bull bar bigger than most hatchbacks, which it's just excess, really. And that excess can lead to a big problem. You see, since hopefully you're not always going into a war zone, you're going to be driving this on a daily basis because, let's be frank, you spent $1.7 million on it. You, you kind of you gotta use it. Now, it does have a lot of legroom in the back when it's not a man on the gun position, which is always a plus. However, the size, as a result, does make it difficult to park. It's barely wider, barely wide to fit in a parking space. It's possible, but I'm pretty sure it'll make everybody around you very angry because you won't have much space to open your door. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too wide. But the best thing about this vehicle <laughs> is the complete and utter lack of care for other vehicles on the road. Like, for instance, these guys up here, I'm just gonna move them out of the way. weigh six tons and has a very powerful one so you kind of just push them out of the way maybe drive over them and you move, lose at max 10 miles an hour <laughs> i mean it really does make cars fly it is truly spectacular just oh, i don't want you to be in my way anymore i shall um, relocate you to the side of the road thank you <laughs> sorry i mean you, you, you kind of asked for it. You're in my way. And, uh, it is very- Whoa! It does like to drive over cars- <laughs> I spun it. It does like to drive over cars, which means it should probably be marked down on that. Spins after driving over sports cars. It needs to get marked down on that. But it is very fun! It was at this point the police said I should probably leave and not cause any more trouble. So, I decided to do the next test to prove that it actually is capable of going off-road with a four-wheel drive system. So I'm at these mountains. My simple goal is to try to climb to the Vinewood sign. Now, which one of these millions of buttons over here is actually in charge of the four-wheel drive system. I need to go into crawl mode. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let's go. Found it. Now, this looks like a nice steep cliff to try. Let's just go into this nicer entry point right here. And uh, away we go. That's uh, sky, sky. <laughs> I mean, that's darn near vertical. That's just impressive. From a standing start. And then to go on the side of a cliff. Surely it can't make this. Oh, oh, that is perfect, unbeatable machine. Uh, uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. It is, it is, it is so good in off-roading, it's recoverable even after sliding down a cliff. Even after sliding down a cliff. And it's fast too, and we're gonna need to be fast, cause uh, there's a jump, and I wanna try to make that jump cleanly. Let's see if I can. It is very heavy, but we shall give it a go. Alright, speed, we need some speed, we need some speed. No. Oh. I mean, it, it almost made it. That's pretty impressive for weighing six tons. Alright, we just got another cliff face to climb. It's not quite as steep, but it's still, you know, up there. Whoa. 
With an airtime from the from the menacer. A little bit more to go. I know on the spine of the mountain. This is very easy. This isn't even breaking a sweat going up this hill. And without further ado. Ah, there we go. Now let's get to the very top of the mountain, just for fun. Just another sheer vertical cliff face. Sky, 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 more sky, and ground. That is quite terrifying, I will be honest. That is absolutely quite terrifying. Just seeing sky, and more sky, and more sky after that while driving the car. It's not normal. But just a little fence later, and we are at the top of the mountain. I would say that's a pretty successful test. So, is this vehicle worth buying? No. It doesn't look very good. It's not as fast as the Night Shark. It's not as armored as the Night Shark. It's slower, and you can't store it in your garage. All for the low price of $1.7 million as opposed to the Night Shark's $1 million. So... As much as I like the name, and I like the sheer craziness of it, I would never recommend this vehicle. It's just too expensive, too ugly, and there's better vehicles out there. I know, I, I, know, I see the gun, I don't care. It's not as good as the Night Shark. End of day. Sorry about it. That's just the way it goes. It does, it does count, I still love those extra exhaust sets. 